Welcome to another Crusader Army Special. Uh, apparently at some point in time, within a few days, maybe it's a week, I don't know. Uh, my microphone volume got turned down to a little over 50%. Uh, thought it sounded weird, finally looked into it, and yeah, so I fixed it, much to your detriment. Okay, we're still sort of in the middle of leg two of this expedition. The final part looks to be just taking us to the knapsack on a tree before we teleport back up to Villareth Ford's outpost for leg three, which will just take us to Chili Creek. And then I will combine Chili Creek actually with the next Dresden debrief episode, which right now only has Talking to Ember on it. So, in other words, for this episode, a uh, whole lot of traveling, which means a whole lot of time will pass, which means we get Crusader Army stuff. If I can, I'm going to try to get all four of these things. Might not work out. Alright, so let's start with this one. So, you know, 720 cultist fighters. I mean, when you start getting just high numbers of anything, they're capable of dealing lots of damage. Uh, the Demo Dans have the Chaos Hammer thing, which I want to try to avoid um, accidentally getting Marksmen in that, because Marksmen are just so, so, so vulnerable. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to arrange things like this. And these guys are all going to move up a square on their turn. Here, we we'll move the Hell Knights up there. Okay, so that's the plan. Agaboya versus the Demon Lair. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> Unfortunately, they get to go before. Well, they'll get to step up. But, we'll see. Alright, um, so let's try to, uh, take out some of those things. Step up one square. Oh, they didn't do their Chaos Hammer? Okay. Oh, I want you to step up a square anyway. <laughs> now you can defend. Um, Let's go ahead and Scorching Ray these guys. Wait. Alright. Come on in. Alright. They're not... They appear to not be doing their... Well, we can get rid of... It's pretty efficient use of resources, I think. Let's go and wait. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can just defend. Uh, you can certainly come in. Why not? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Uh, it looks like it's just a matter of uh, keeping us up as I whittle these things down. So let me fast forward. Seven thousand finance. Not income, just the actual coins sitting around. Okay, let's move. A stop. All right, let's look at this one. Oh, whole bunch of air elementals. So we definitely want to keep our guys surrounded. Um, yeah, so let's do that, 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 and let's go. Do they fly? I don't think they fly, but there's no need to. Because if, if they don't fly, then you could do some staggered stuff. Uh, but I don't want to risk it. Just in case they can somehow get in there. Alright. Um. Let me throw one fireball down. All right. Well, all right, they do a significant amount of damage. Um, we need to work on this. So let me get at least another full round of attacks. See where we need to get help. I think self-heal probably. Alright, this can get 7 to 28. Alright, yeah, self-heal. I'm obviously being too stingy. Um, do another fireball.
Ooh. Ooh. That wasn't good. Um. That helped. General level. All right, level twelve, I think. Breath of life, yes. So I don't know if that can take, if that can bring back uh, units that have been completely eliminated. I thought it. Well, I thought at some point in time that it said that you could, but I might just be insane. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh. All right. I think this is actually easier than this. Just because of the f almost 1,500 cultists. Now, the Baylors, of course, are immune to fire. And they have a fire storm that affects a 5x5 five five area. Which, of course, makes things problematic, to say the least. And not only that, but it deals damage for multiple rounds. Um, this one is just some stuff. Um, where I should work on... Yeah, I'm going to try to do this one. I'm going to try to do some fancy... Uh, arrangements. I'm going to have the shieldmen step up one square. Because uh, that should hopefully prevent demons from teleporting in, being able to attack the marksmen at all. Uh, that's the goal, at least. Um. Hmm. All right, let's go. Agaboya versus Demon Lair 11 for the ancient map of Sarkaris. Alright, let's 
It's a mass innervation too. Ugh. Gives us problems, that's what it does. Alright. Um we can get the most stuff in here. So let's do that. Effective. I like it. Uh, sure, let's just take these things out. Summon Glabs. Ooh. Oh, this is Breath of Life. That's right. Okay. Ah, uh, Rogue Ballad. We got this. All right. All right, battle plans for this army. Um, due to the whole uh, Baylors with their firestorm, I wanna spread out. And I think they'll try to get the things that have three so let's do something like this so I think they'll end up getting the Hell Knight shield bearers and hedge knights hopefully keeping these guys out of the firestorm um that's the plan at least all right, Agaboya versus Demon Lair. Ten. First look at Baylor's. Let's try it. They summoned. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, we need to we need to make sure ugh, these Marilis are gonna teleport in so my hedge knights are gonna have to come over here but the Marilis are still gonna teleport here and attack the clerics which will blow through the marksman all right first things first let's get the ice storm 
if we're lucky, that'll take care of the Baylors. Good. Good, good, good. Now, these these things are freaking... These things are... in the way. They are a threat, even though there's only 12. But I gotta... I gotta do this. Alright, Hedge Knights can come here. We gotta make sure that the Merilists don't teleport to right here to directly attack the Marksman. So Hedge Knights can go right here. Alright, we can live with that. That's not nearly as bad as I was thinking it might be. Plus, Clerics should be able to do some things. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, meanwhile... Uh. Let's wait. Let's advance. I don't want to gauge while there's still that many. Alright, next round. Uh, we still need to reduce these numbers. It's a little better. Ah, shoot, I forgot. Now if I engage the cultists, or even get near the cultists. Ah. Uh. Let's just go here. Well, they'll be able to move uh, before they act again. So, uh, we can come up and do that. Oh, I've got to turn that off. Um, you gotta hold back. Uh, you can heal somebody.
That's unfortunate. Okay. Alright, finally let me uh, just fast forward through the rest of this. Success. All right. That's the end of the road over here. Now we got to make all the way, all the way back to this one. Uh, I'm sure we'll pick up some recruits on the way. We have more recruits on the 31st. Even if we don't, I'll wait for more recruits. Uh, let me close up here a little bit. <laughs> All right. All right. I uh, have everybody else where they want to be. Um, I want to be able to, I don't remember if I said this already, but I want to be able to defend lands of Yath Watch within one day with these guys. And since they start with 55 movement, they can do that from there. Uh, they won't be able to defend Gloomy Gorge in one day, but that's all right. Uh, they're still there. They're still there. Uh, these guys are probably going up here. All right. Uh, party movement. Let's head out. Yeah, as expected, the, that's just a node where the demon army is. Um, it might expand in Act 5, not sure. Alright, knapsack on a tree. Yay! Now let's teleport to... Villa Breath Ford's outpost. Make our way to Chili Creek. Um. Yeah, I've already sh seen all of his supply in Act 3, so I was debating whether I should include this or cut it out, but it's easier just to go through it. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. So that was, um, oh, that was exotic, yeah. No reason to pause. Trust in yourself. Uh, continuing Chili Creek. I'll check in on this, hopefully before the 30th ends. Alright. 
army movement. And check in at the table. The mobile table. Witches. And another invitation from the Free Crusaders. Hmm, wasn't expecting that. Well, we're not going to destroy the settlement. Uh, we're not going to inform the Order of the Pyre. They can figure that out on their own. So we'll establish trade. Uh, this is the last choice. And apparently we've made enough leadership. So we don't actually need that. It's only seven. And we're basically done with our crusading. Hey, all right. All right. Decree. Branch of the Last Ash, another relic, and that, hey, everything, it'll be a, I mean, we gotta talk to Amber, but then we'll have a whole bunch of counselors to reassign. Um, I don't know if we'll pass enough time to actually strengthen up the chain of command, though. Eh, oh well. And that'll end this episode. Thanks for joining me. This is Forkus Bite signing out. Sayonara. <laughs>